I've worked really hard at this channel, and I vow never to put you consciously into a situation that could potentially harm your computer. Now, the reason why I say that is because I was going to make a Tuesday post today about a program that manages your plugins. Subscribers and views is not worth hurting you, period. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'll, I'll just put in a quick excerpt of the video just so you see what I mean when I'm talking about selling this program, okay? Check this out. User defined shader is absolutely gone. This software is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so as you can see, I really believed in the software. I loved it and I was selling it hard, but that changed over time. Initially, when I installed the EXE file, my virus protection came up with something called a MLPUA detection. Now, at first glance, I was like, oh my God, is it a virus? Ah! It wasn't, it's not a virus. It's simply uh, Sophos, that's the virus protection I have. It's Sophos way of saying that it analyzed the EXE and there is a potential for virus activity. It's not a virus, but it could install one. And so when I read that, I was like, okay, that makes sense, right? Because I'm installing software that's grabbing software from another location and installing it on another software package, right? So I, I was like, okay, whatever. I'll, you know, I, sh I shrugged it off, not a big deal. Then I stumbled on a tweet that literally knocked the air out of me. It was like getting punched in the throat. It was like, because I poured so much time into editing this video and I just can't, dude, I just cannot make this live for you guys. So I read this tweet and I'm, and it was by a very influential, very, very, very solid character who is a developer for OBS. He's known and I can't mention his name because I just want to protect him. Um, but I will read you what he said. I think it's very revealing. He says this. Hi, Scott. Thanks for reaching out. Basically, they shield the app both on our OBS forums and on our OBS Discord. They registered several accounts under the same IP addresses and posted about it on the forum saying things like, hey, you guys, have you heard about this app? Is it legit? And then linking it to their own application. They did the same thing on OBS Discord, pretending to be a random user and then linking to the app and saying, I found it. This is not cool. This is like one way of destroying your integrity from a company's perspective, like not cool at all. And then it continues on to say, I confronted them about it and they confessed to it, chalking it up to cultural misunderstanding. And finally, the website itself that hosted the app had a blog that was packed full of SEO spam posts, clearly employing some underhanded practices to promote their application. And if you go to their website and you click their blog link in the navigation, what do you think comes up? Nothing. Then he goes on to say, OBS plugins are compiled DLL binaries, and as with any program you download from the internet, it is extremely important that you trust the person who is compiling it to not include malicious code. Personally, I would not trust such a company to deliver me unmodified plugin binaries and manage them in my own systems folder structure, which requires, by the way, admin mode. And that statement right there is so freaking true and it is sketchy, sketchy times 10. 10. Yes, you can vi verify a file's integrity manually by hashing the files and comparing the original plugin to the binaries that are being installed on your computer, but in practice, no one is going to do that since the entire point of the application is convenience. He's so right right there. Finally, it's worth noting that an official OBS plugin manager is, is currently, currently in development. development. Yes. Awesome. So any third party plugin is going to be absolutely obsolete. Yes, that's such great news. I cannot wait for this new part of OBS to be released. Now, my next video is gonna be a little bit different. We're going to take the Move Transition plugin by Xeldro and apply it to a real world live stream application it's going to be the Lamar Fitness live stream setup. And what we're going to do is have a screen with Lamar talking while the exercises occur. And there will be a, a slider designating each exercise as it occurs. So you're going to learn firsthand how to apply the move transition to a working live stream that helps people stay in shape. It's going to be great. You can see it right here. <laughs> Sometimes I'm looking at my finger in the wrong direction. It's gonna be right here. Check that out. You're gonna learn a ton about how the move transition works.
I'll see you there. 